Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for joining today's Residio webinar session. Today's topic is an overview of our non-connected thermostats, including the new E1 Pro and T3 Pro thermostats. We're very excited to give you the first look at those two new products. My name is Jamie Quanrud, and I'm part of the Residio sales training team. On behalf of all of us, I'd like to welcome you to our session today. Before we get started with our technical presentation, I'm going to cover just a few administrative items. Please make sure to join us every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time, where we give you the opportunity to learn about all of our products. On the next screen, you can see a schedule of our webinars listed on a variety of topics. Please be sure to visit residio.com backslash webinars and navigate to the tab named HVAC and or plumbing to find information on these webinars. And like I said before, we have released our August webinar schedule. So please be sure to visit residio.com backslash webinars. Next week, we are featuring a training on dehumidification. So please be sure to register and join us for that training next week. Additionally, we do record each of our sessions and you can find those recorded sessions on the same website underneath the webinar recordings tab to reference at a later time. And then for those contractors who are joining us for today's live training and you are interested in earning one Nate continuing education credit, there are just a few things to note. If you provided your Nate ID on your registration form, we submit that information to Nate for your attendance of today's live training and we won't need any additional information from you at this time. However, if you did not provide us with your Nate ID on the registration form for this webinar session and you'd like to to receive credit for attending our live training today, we do ask that you would email your first name, your last name, your Nate ID, and the date of today's session that you attended to homes.university at residio.com one week from today. This information is submitted to Nate uh, following the close of today's training session and any requests sent outside of one week from today's live training cannot be processed. And as a reminder, we only submit requests to Nate for credits when you attend the live webinar session. And we are unable to process requests for watching a recorded version of this training. If you'd like more information about the Nate program, please visit their website at www.natex.org. And one quick note before we begin our technical presentation today, all attendees are muted. However, if at any point during our technical presentation you'd like to ask a question, please go ahead and use the Q&A feature that is found in your Zoom webinar controls at the bottom of your screen. We do reserve the last 15 minutes of our session today to answer any questions. So as we progress through our technical training today, please be sure to ask your questions in that Q&A feature so we can be sure to address it at the end of today's training. Now we're going to turn things over to Paul Solberg, who's part of our national account sales team. And Paul's going to share his expertise on our non-connected thermostat portfolio. Paul, thanks so much for joining us today. The floor is yours. Thank you so much. Can you hear me okay? We can. Okay, perfect. Just wanted to make sure. So I appreciate the time. Um, a little bit of an agenda for today of what you guys can expect. Um, so we went over the future of training, uh, future training sessions and eight credits. Um, like we talked about, we're going to spend some time talking about E1 and T3, which are two of the newer or the brand new thermostats just launching. Uh, so this is the first look at those two thermostats. And then what we want to do is make sure that we go over the entire non-connected portfolio. And like we said, we're going to do some common questions and Q&A at the end. And so first and foremost, you know, it's a good thing of talking about a little bit about our vision. Um, our vision here at Residio is really to have one of the largest selection of products for our contractors and our, end, our, our homeowners to be able to select from. Uh, we understand that there's a million different jobs out there, and we've been doing this for a long time. And so we need to be able to have a solution on the very simple um, low cost side of the business, as well as the higher end. Um, and we've been focusing so much 
on our connected offering. However, what we wanted to do is spend some more time on our non-connected, uh, fill some gaps that we thought that we could help uh, provide more value to the market with some solutions that we have. And really about the non-connected thermostats, what this really is all about is offering a low cost, high quality product um, that's simply easy to use. Um, so that's the simplicity. We don't necessarily wanna have the least expensive product if that's the sacrifice of just ease of use. We wanna have, make sure that it's uh, the quality that you would expect from anything that has a Honeywell uh, home logo on it. So we wanna have that plus or minus one degree because really we understand that um, the callbacks, especially now with COVID going around is we don't, not, we don't wanna have to go back to other houses, things like that. So we wanna make sure that we're, when we put a product inside that home or inside that um, whatever space we're using it, it in is that that stays there. We don't have any issues with it. And then following it is we need to make sure how do we help you guys take, uh, take advantage of the retrofit options that are out there. And so we want to make sure that we're offering you products that, on, that fit the footprint that we've had over the last hundred years of installs. We want to make sure that we're taking advantage of those as well. And so the first product that we're going to talk about today is the E1. Um, the E1 was introduced. We felt like we needed a lower cost product that had a larger display size. So we wanted to create a new product, which is what we created E1, which is a very large display, nice big numbers, easy to use, but more on the cost effective um, side of the, uh, um, the portfolio. The E1 thermostat is a non-programmable thermostat. Um, one of the questions that we get a lot is what are the feature sets for all the thermostats? So one of the things I wanna make sure everyone's aware of um, that you should have is our nomenclature. So like our nomenclature, if you guys aren't aware, TH is gonna be our thermostat. The first number is going to be the series of the thermostat. If that's an odd number, it's gonna be a non-programmable. If it's an even number, it's gonna be programmable. Then we have the stages of heat and the stages of cooling. And then the zero on the end right here is gonna tell if it has an onboard humidity sensor or not. So as we get into that, this is not just for this thermostat, but for all of our thermostats, we know that this is a thermostat that's in the 1000 series, one heat, one cool. And because it's a zero, we know it does not have an onboard humidity sensor. So just trying to take a second to talk about that because as we are um, maybe purchasing more um, through an online portal, or maybe we're purchasing via phone a little bit more because we're trying to reduce contact, I wanna give it an easy way for you guys to identify the right SKU that you need for that particular job. And so this one, meaning that, that for that nomenclature, it's a non-programmable battery operated thermostat or it can be hardwired or you can do both. So you could have it hardwired and then use battery as backup. If you have used our old Pro 1000s, this is gonna be really familiar for you guys. This is gonna be the same terminal strip that you'd be, you'd be using on the old Pro 1000. So this would be on a wiring standpoint should be the exact same experience that you've had for a long, a long time. Again, one heat, one cool conventional. And this is also a single stage heat pump without auxiliary heat. We'll talk a little bit about that in a second. To get into install our setup, when we first open up this box, just wanna give you kind of a little bit of rundown of how this would look like when you're installing it. Pretty basic, but again, just wanna make sure we're covering all of our bases. So when you first open it up, it would, sh it would show up your ISO settings, um, your installer setting options uh, right out the gate. But for some reason, let's say you went through that and you wanted to change something, how you get the back in there is you would hold the up and down arrow simultaneously until that display changes. Once that display changes, then we can use the up and down arrow to change the function number, and then to advance to the next installer setup option, we're gonna, we're gonna hit the up and down arrow again simultaneously, like an enter button, and that would move to our next setup. Okay, so that's how you would operate and how you would set up um, the E1 Pro thermostat. For the power methods, um, at, as you, could imagine through the terminal strip, just wiring R and C for 24 volts to be able to power the thermostat, or you can do battery operated as well. 
For our heat pump applications, um, so some of you on the phone are in markets that were using significant amount of heat pumps. Uh, so for heat pump applications, this would be the steps that you would use for this thermostat. First step is that we want to jump W to Y. So we need to have a jumper there. Second step, if you're on the back of the thermostat, there is a switch. On that switch, we need to move it from gas or oil, and we need to switch it over to electric or heat pump. Then the final step is that when we go into the installer setup options, we need to change number five to setting number three. And then that would be, that would set this thermostat up for heat pump applications. Again, this is the exact same thing as our Pro 1000 series models. So it should be familiar for you if you have used those ones in the past. Uh, if not, it's a really easy setup process to make sure it's nice and um, simple for you guys when you're out in the field. The last thing is, is that we do have private label programs. If we're not taking away a pro, uh, taking advantage of private label, um, I would recommend if you're a contractor to reach out to one of your distributing part, distributor partners to ask more details about it. Um, if you're a distributor on that line that needs more information, please contact your local sales rep as well. But this is a private label program is a free service to you to be able to have your business name and phone number or email address, you get three line text um, to be able to be displayed on that thermostat. Especially, um, I think this is even more important on uh, these thermostats because a lot of times these thermostats are going into entry level job applications, meaning that this could be someone's first home, this could be someone that's just renovating a house, um, things like that. And so when those are expanding and those families are growing and they're moving into different locations, we want to make sure that your business is in front of these customers. And we want to make sure it's done in a professional way. So we want to make sure that it's, it is, has a nice custom look by having it printed right on the, right on the unit itself. Uh, so how this would work is you just order 12 at a time and then we're able to send you up these units out for free um, with just normal purchase price. So no extra cost. Um, this is um, going to be available around August 1st of this year. So for E1, uh, if you're a distributor on the line, um, this will be available on the B2B portal uh, August 1st, and then you'll be able to put, place your orders um, to get private labels on the E1 thermostat. The next is the T3 thermostat. Uh, the T3 thermostat is the newest addition to our T-series. As you can see, the T-series and like the, the other Pro Series models are a little bit different. Uh, but the T3, um, what we found was what was needed when we talked about that retrofit space. Uh, we understood that we needed a thermostat that fit a horizontal, um, a horizontal uh, footprint. There was a lot of paint marks. There was a lot of different reasons for it. Some customers wanted the up and down arrow, things like that. So what we did is we listened and what we wanted to do is introduce a T3 thermostat that offers that horizontal footprint, has the ups and down arrows to be able to change the temperature up and down, um, but an easier product to install on that side. T3 Pro thermostat has two different options. Again, if we're looking at the nomenclature, Top one would be THB thermostat, 3000 series. So it's an odd number. So we know it's a non-programmable thermostat. One heat, one cool, does not have an onboard humidity sensor. The next one is gonna be a TH 3000 series, two heat, one cool, not no humidity sensor. So we have one that does one heat, one cool conventional. And then we have another one that does two heat, one cool heat pump with auxiliary heat. Okay, so it'd be a little bit different. T3 main features, again, it's going to be a non-programmable, something basic, something to install in, inside those spaces. Low temperature setting goes down to 32 degrees. Uh, unfortunately, here in the Midwest, we're going to start getting some colder weather again, and we like to make sure that our liquids inside our, in our garages don't freeze over um, as easy, so we want to make sure our temperature is at 32 degrees, but we don't necessarily want it to be at 40 or 44 or 45 degrees. So these are good applications for some of those garage applications. Again, this is gonna be battery operated, hardwired or both. 
one of the features of this offers that some of our other ones don't is a continuous backlight. So some thermostats sometimes are in hallways and that what we need to, what we would like to do is make sure that, you know, there is some type of night light or something like that that some homeowners really like. This gives you that option. It would just require a common wire attached to the thermostat. Again, now this is gonna end, this is gonna give us a little bit more functionality as we move up in numbers, we're gonna get more functionality in it. And some of that functionality would be adjustable range stops. So this would be a non-programmable stat that we could also have adjustable range stops in it. So I can set a min temperature and I can set a max temperature. And if I'm in a space, um, maybe it's a home and the kids are messing around with it too much, you can mess with it. You can actually change those uh, adjustable range stops right on it. And then this thermostat is gonna be on our UWP mounting system, which we'll talk about in a little bit more de detail a little bit later on. Finally, inside the box of the T3 is gonna have a cover plate. Uh, this cover plate is, a, is um, just a little bit larger. That's a little bit wider footprint. So let's say if you had a chronotherm in there or anything like that, this gives you a little bit more coverage for those thermostats. Um, and then this also has the mounting holes for J box installation. So if you do have those applications that you need to have a J box attached to it, you're able to do that as well. In regards to setup, uh, installer setups uh, a little bit different. Um, that there's three buttons on the right, the right side of the thermostat. The first one you can obviously see is the plus and the minus. And then there's one in the middle that actually would be the one that you're gonna hit and you're gonna hold for five seconds. So that's gonna be your menu button. So hold that for five seconds. And then it's go, gonna go ahead and enter the installer setup options that you would have. Okay. How you would change those setups when you're out there in the field is the bottom one, the negative side, is going to be the edit. So that is going to change the actual setting. The setup number is gonna be displayed in the middle. And then once you have the setting set for that setup option, you're gonna hit the plus sign that would go to the next. Once you go through all the installer setup options that are in here, um, then you would go ahead and you'd click done and then that would save all your settings. Again, this thermostat is gonna be available. Um, I didn't mention in the beginning, we anticipate this thermostat being shipping August 3rd. The private label program will be available August 15th. Um, so you're gonna be able to get this thermostat available on August 15th to be able to be ready for private label. And then this is what it would look like. So again, uh, a real professional look to your thermostats that um, even some of the more cost competitive situations we can still get the advertising we get out there for the contractor, as well as making it look professional and making sure that the, the, the homeowner or the end user is able to know who installed their product so that when someone asks them, they know, hey, R&W Heating did my system and they can give that contact information to whoever they're talking to to help build your business up. Next on the list is Pro 3000. Uh, Pro 3000 is not a new, this is an oldie but a goodie. Uh, the Pro 3000 is a very basic non-programmable thermostat. Um, easy to read. Um, this is gonna have a little bit more tactile features to it where we actually wanna have a switch function. Uh, if you're like my father, uh, my father likes that satisfying click. He doesn't wanna have a digital uh, digital display or be able to do it that way. He just wants to be able to switch the fan on or switch it to heat and know it's on. Uh, so that we want to make sure that we have a product that is simple to use in that aspect. Uh, this one was just asked and asked for it because we, there are so many of these actually installed out there. Um, and so for a retrofit standpoint, we wanted to provide a solution for those wet retrofit applications where they can still be able to purchase this product. And they don't have to try to find the paint or try to find the holes, covering, doing all that stuff. We just wanted to have a like for like replacement option for that, for that option. If you are looking for a more modern look, the T3 also has that, that option for you to fit the same footprint as is Pro 3000. So we're giving you two different options. Again, our goal is, is not to dictate where you guys, what, what kind of products you guys purchase. What we wanna do is we wanna give you as many options as possible because we know every single job is different. So we wanna give you as many options as possible out there for you guys. 
Again, if we're looking at the nomenclature, we understand that it's 3,000, one heat, one cool, does not have an onboard humidity sensor. Following that would be the three heat, um, it's our 3,000, two heat, one cool option, no onboard humidity sensor for the two pro 3,000 features. A little bit more about the features in regards to the pro 3,000. Uh, dual powered again, something that's a very similar thing through all of our thermostats that we can do hardwired or battery. Um, the displays room temperature and, sim uh, and set point simultaneously. Some of the other thermostats will only display the actual room temperature that you'll see and then when you press the button, um, that would be the one that you would be to tell where the set point is. Backlight display, switchable fan control, so you're gonna have auto or continuous. Auto is going to be running about 33% of the time. So all it's gonna do is make sure that that thermostat is gonna be running, uh, turning the fan on about 33% of the time, just getting air movement going through it. Maybe you have some UV treatment, things like that, to make sure that you're treating the air effectively. Um, and then we have a five-year warranty on the Pro 3000 feature. Next up is the Focus Pro 6000. Uh, again, this should be something that's very familiar, very comfortable uh, with installing. This is our programmable thermostat. As you can guess, the 6,000 is an even number. So we're now we're getting into some of that, the programmability on the thermostat. Um, now that we got a bigger screen and some more features as we're moving up in the feature set, installation is gonna be a little bit easier with some built-in installation manuals kind of inside the thermostat. Um, easy to read. Um, so we got a big screen, bright, we can change a lot of that stuff. Easy access to battery placement. So on the side of it is there's a little hatch to change out the batteries. Um, that's one of the features that people have loved over the, uh, over the years that we've been working here. And then contractors can expect the same footprint uh, for retrofit applications. Again, we got so many of these installed. And so we wanna make sure that you have the options out there to be able to install those on a retrofit application as well. Couple different model numbers. Uh, we have a single one heat, one cool. Um, and so I didn't talk about those last four numbers. I'm not gonna talk too much about those, but basically what we have is we have a standard size screen and a large screen. So again, the 6110 is a 6000 series, one heat, one cool, no onboard humidity sensor. And then the 1005 is gonna be the standard, 1021 is gonna be the large. For the two heat, two cool model, Again, we have the 1002 is standard, and then the 1028 is large. And then we have finally the three heat, two cool, uh, only comes in the large, and that's a 6320U1000. So those would be your options for that Focus Pro, just to make sure you guys are aware of that. Uh, next up is a Focus Pro 5000. Uh, 5000, as you would guess it, is in uh, odd number, so it's a non-programmable thermostat. Again, same display as our old Focus Pro 6000. Universal applications, dual power like you would expect, battery or hardwired. Um, the same door, the battery placement function as a 6000. Then we have a, a comfort and economy mode for heat pumps um, as well for this thermostat as well. So a little bit more functionality as we're kind of moving up in the line. Again, different model numbers uh, for the one heat, one cool, two heat, two cool models, and three heat through two cool. Uh, there's two different options between large and, and, and standard uh, screen size. And so this is gonna be the biggest difference between um, these model numbers for you. So you have all the options that you have for any type of replacement or new install. Uh, so now we kind of went through the Pro Series, moving into the T-Series. The T-Series was introduced uh, a number of years ago, and the T-Series now looks like this. So we have the T1, the T3, the T4, and we have the T6. These would be the four thermostats that are in the non-connected space. Um, it kind of looks like a side-by-side, -side, giving you a wide range of, uh, of different uh, functionalities and needs for each one of your jobs. So that kind of keeps the same functionality. So if you kept all these in your truck, you'd be able to kind of say, okay, which one do I want to use for any particular um, application? All of these T-series thermostats um, come with 
a wall plate. Um, the T1, T4, and T6 has a J-Box adapter, then in, and then it ca uh, snaps on a little um, goof plate on top of that. And then the T3, as we saw earlier on, has a wall plate that you put on the wall. Both, both of these options have J-Box um, screw holes in it, so you're gonna be able to mount on J-Box or any type of the older uh, screw holes in from an existing thermostats, giving you an easy uh, way uh, to do any of those retrofit applications and have everything included inside the box. So inside the box on all of our T-Series thermostat, the UWP mounting system, which we'll talk about next, two AA batteries, has a decorative cover plate, mounting anchors and screws, and then we have the thermostat literature. That's what you would expect in all of our T-Series thermostats that you would have there. So this is the UWP mounting system, if you're not familiar with it. So the, the idea behind the UWP mounting system was we wanted to have an application uh, so that no matter what you're installing, whether you're installing a non-connected um, to a connected, that you could be able to easily install it by popping one off and popping a new one in, okay? Uh, so on here, there's a little door that projects, uh, protects it from any kind of draft, uh, as you can see right here. Um, there's push-in terminals, makes it nice and easier to install the wires in there. It's a simple install. Then we, instead of got going through the jumpers, we went to a switch that we said so we don't have to have those jumpers anymore. And then we can go from a single transformer application into a two transformer application with ease and a lot more professional look and it's a lot simpler to install and you have everything that you would need in the field. If you are wiring this thing up, uh, you have the, the R and C um, that we would need or uh, all of our T-Series would be there. And then as well as the battery powered thermostats as well. Um, you'd be, that's how the, the batteries would go in the back that come inside the box. All of our thermostats uh, on our T-Series line are private labelable. Um, T3, again, was August 15th, so that would be the final one on the T-Series line. And so again, no matter what you're using, whether you're using the Pro Series line or the T-Series line, we can want to make sure that your name is in front of your customers as much as possible so we can start getting that repeat business. Uh, last, or the, one of the last ones is the T1 thermostat. This is a simple, non-programmable, one heat, one cool. Um, so the first one is the 1010. That's gonna be heat only or cool only, okay? Uh, so you would be able to make it a heat only or cool only so you don't even see the other options. Or we have a one heat, one cool conventional single stage heat pump without auxiliary heat. Uh, feature sets on this one, non-programmable, again, low temperature. So you'd have a 32 degrees. So for garage settings, you have that option. Uh, battery powered, hardwired, or both. Uh, continuous backlight. So we, that's gonna be a feature you'll be able to have with the T1 series. Adjustable range stops again, and then UWP mounting system. So if you have other T-Series thermostats on your truck, T1 is a great product for you because we could have T1 later upgraded to maybe a T6 if they add different equipment, then they want to have a connected one. You do a Wi-Fi T6 or a Wi-Fi T10 or anything like that, kind of moving through that as seamless as possible. Again, as you would guess, non-programmable, single stage. Uh, we just talked about easy upsell, and then it has that five-year warranty. T4 thermostat, so now we're going into the programmability of the T-Series. So we have one heat, one cool applications uh, for the 4110, and then we have the 4210, which is introducing a two heat, one cool heat pump. Um, so you would have your multi-stage applications for the 4210. And then for features, with programmability, now we're introducing auto changeover. So if you didn't want to move it to heat or cool, you could have it change automatically for you so that you can move those thermostats over as easy as possible uh, for that homeowner. Continuous backlight, adjustable range stops as well, like just like in all of our T-Series thermostats. Finally, on the T6, uh, you have the T6, uh, which is gonna have the most options. We have the 6000 series, three heat, two cool, the 6000 series, two heat, two cool, 
6000 series two heat one cool applications for you. Um, all of these are great applications, multi-stage, um, and this is going to be starting to introduce more functionality for the T-Series model. This is a side-by-side -side comparison. So the biggest thing is compressor lockout by balance point. Uh, the 6320 and 6220 are able to do that. And then dual fuel application is going to be the 6320 and the 6220. And then the compatible with the outdoor and indoor sensor is going to be that 6320 and 6220. So those are going to be your options for all of your T6 um, T6 models. Some accessories that aren't included in the bag is we have four different accessories. We have an additional decorative cover plate that's larger. So if you need a larger goof plate, you have that. Wired remote indoor sensors. So if you want to change where the sensing point is or average a space, you're able to do that. Wired outdoor temperature sensors. So if we're doing for heat pump applications for lockout purposes, we have those for you. And then we have the C-wire adapter. C-wire adapter is an easy way to change four wire applications into the ability to um, offer a Wi-Fi thermostat, because we need an R and C for a Wi-Fi thermostat. And what these C-wire adapters do are really slick. They split your Y and your G into what we call a K-terminal. All of our non-connected thermostats have, that have the UWP mounting system on it already have a K-terminal in there, so we're able to convert those with ease, so you can upsell later on and be able to help those out. So two last thermostats for you. The first one is gonna be the T6 Pro Hydronic. This is a great thermostat, sold a ton of these in my day. Um, so TH6100AF. So if you guys are using uh, the old, old thermostats, uh, like these ones right here, um, this is going to be a lot easier product for you guys to install. It's a simple looking thermostat. I know that some of these hydronic applications, I noticed some people on the participation list are, we got some people in the Midwest. Some of those lake homes, we love our air conditioning, but we love our hydronic heat. So now we can have a, the right thermostat for the AC system. And then we have a thermostat for the hydronic system that matches. So the homeowner has a seamless experience, no matter what they're using in the house. And that is a unique feature that we can really help out with. With this one, just a single stage of heat has a, a slab sensor that's included. Um, so you can control floor temperature. Um, and then you can also control ambient temperature as well, or you can average the both. So you can have the floor, the ambient, or you can average the both. You have max floor limits. So you can set the floor limit to protect from it, uh, taking too much moisture out of the floor and damaging the floor. We can also have a minimum, so we can make sure that we're enhancing comfort. And then we have anti-freeze protection, so if there are snowbirds and they're not there, we can make sure that it's not gonna freeze out and make sure that we're protecting that space. Some other unique features for our hydronic thermostat compared to others is that boiler short cycling protection. So you're able to make sure that that boiler doesn't short cycle on you. And then you can also do the different types of economy modes to override uh, floor, uh, floor low limits to make sure that your house is nice and comfortable when you're gone. Last thermostat on this list is the TL8100. I think this is a great stat that I think is a hidden feature that a lot of people don't know about. So the TL8100, what's really cool about this is that I have applications that I can do 24 volt, 110, or 120 volt, and 240 volt applications. This is a heat only thermostat. However, this thermostat is great um, because I can use it to run a circulator pump. I can use it to run a pump relay. I can use it wired directly into a zone valve, and I can use these uh, for so many different reasons. At the same time, I can do electric baseboard. Um, I can set up millivolt systems. Um, I can do all of these things with one thermostat, and I can keep one on my truck, and I can have all those relays, and I don't have to be messing around with different relays, and it's nice, easy install. In regards to installer features, um, it's all through dip switches on the back. So what we do is we take that thermostat off the wall, we change the dip switches, that will change the cycle rates, that will change the set point range, um, and basically it's an armchair programming. So meaning that I can go hang out or I can go in my truck, I can program this thermostat, pop it in, every, all the programming stays and then I'm ready to go. Um, so when, if I'm in a low light situation or something like that, that could be nice and you could be able to use that. 
this is kind of how it looks like. Um, so change the temperature preset button. So what, uh, however you're using it for sleep, vacation or home, um, programming buttons. So you can change the time of the day and all this stuff. All this stuff, what I like about it, if you notice in the picture, is that all of these buttons are hidden by a nice clean uh, cover plate. So all of those buttons aren't in the way. So it's a nice modern look in regards to making sure that we're not, we don't have all these buttons in your face and have all these options, just kind of a set it and forget it, especially for hydronic heat applications. We don't want people messing with it. So this will allow people just to kind of let it do its thing. And that will take, make sure that they're as comfortable as possible. Again, um, if you're looking for more information on our non-connected portfolio, please go to residio.com slash pro. Uh, that will give you more information. I know indoor air quality is a big thing right now, different thermostat applications, things like that. That's a great resource for you guys to be able to look and get as much information as, as, as possible. Finally, some last questions that are kind of uh, common. And this is kind of why I was hitting on it. So can the Pro 3000 handle more than one heat, uh, one cool? I think we kind of beat that to death to understand that the, the, model, the models that have a two um, would give you your two heat applications. Um, do not connect the thermostats control humidity. Again, uh, when we go look at like a TH3110, it, that zero is saying that it cannot control humidity. If that was a one, so like if we were using it into like a, a TH8321, that means that would be 8,000 series, three heat, two cool, and that one means it has an onboard humidity sensor. So none of the connect, uh, non-connected thermostats can control humidity. And then finally, how does a Pro 3000 differ from the Focus Pro 5000? Uh, we talked about that different feature sets, uh, different options for you, different screen size, uh, just different overall look. Um, and so you have those two different thermostats itself. Um, so I, don't, I know that there, I think there was some people monitoring the Q&A, um, but we can now open it up for some more formal Q&A. I also got Chris Levy on the phone, so we got two people that we can get some answers for you if you guys have them out there. Paul, how you doing, man? Good job. Um, the, uh, some of the questions that were asked online were some that I think were answered in the presentation, but we'll just kind of restate them. The, the base plate being the same, I think we're referring to the uh, T3 universal wiring plate. That is the same, but it has a unique um, uh, back plate that will cover up a larger wall space in that horizontal platform. Um, one question that, that uh, you had mentioned, and I, and I just wanted to add a little bit more clarity, Basically, all of the non-connected thermostats on this page showing here on the Q&A screen will not do humidity. To have humidity control, you have to move up into a little bit more advanced feature thermostat like the Vision Pro, uh, Wi-Fi Vision Pro, or the T10 or Prestige thermostats. Um, a question here was, can you private label the T3 thermostat? You answered that clearly in the message. Um, that is going to be available early in August. Um, and I guess at this point, Jamie, is there anything more you see that you want to add? Yeah, when is the private label going to be available for the T3? It was August 15th, wasn't it, Paul? So uh, the E1 was the 1st of August, the T3 was the 15th of August. Great. Then we've got another question coming in here about, you know, what is, what is the value for carrying a lower end thermostat when the market seems to be trending towards carrying more connected thermostats? And Paul, I, I thought you did a good job kind of overviewing that at the beginning, but do you just want to iterate, reiterate that for our folks who maybe jumped in a little bit late on the call? Yeah, for sure. It's for people like my old man. No, um, so like there is a ton of different people out there, right? So um, there is a wide range and I, I get why majority of our business is going to connected spaces. However, there are some applications where A, there is no, maybe it's in cabins or anything like that where we really don't have 
a desire to have internet there for a reason. Um, there's a lot of different applications that are price sensitive. So as we're adding features and Wi-Fi radios and Wi-Fi antennas and things like that, those prices go up. So we also want to make sure that we're not pricing ourselves out of applications that are maybe our larger scale or maybe there's just some entry level applications out there. So it's just giving you guys options as much as possible um, to make sure that no matter what job you have, our goal as Residio is to be able to offer you a thermostat that meets that exact need for that job so that you have the best chance of winning it. I mean, that's the really the main goal for that is. Another question here, Paul, was can in-floor heat be controlled by other non-connected thermostats other than the T6 hydronic? And I guess the answer is yes, if you're looking for air sensing only, slab sensing or combination slab limits with air sensing, really that, that uh, skill set lives inside the T6 hydronic. But for air sensing only, you can use any of the non-connected stats really, but the T-series non-connected thermostats um, lean a little bit um, more, lend themselves a little bit better to that application because you can make them heat only and not be confused by uh, seeing cooling switches on the, on the thermostat itself. Uh, let's see. Is there any other additional lead time for private label thermostats? Paul, you want to add to that? Yeah, so typically your very first, it's about 10 business days for uh, private label stats. Um, so yeah, so typical range service class date would be about 10 days. The very first initial setup usually takes a little bit longer because you've got to proof the um, how it looks on the thermostat, make sure all the spelling is correct and all that stuff. Um, so when you're working with your distributor partners of choice, um, they'll help you through that process. And once it is submitted, it takes about 10 next 10 business days. And I guess if, if you don't mind, I'd like to just add a little bit more to that conversation. Um, in these days of, of uh, increased and spike demand that we've had, delivery and lead times are, are fluid. But one of the things we've seen is we've made a concentrated effort to uh, work on private labels at the beginning of any production run for any given model thermostat. So the lead times have been staying very close to the standard 10 day promise once orders received. Yeah, great point, Chris. Thanks so much for bringing that up. Keep those questions coming in if you have any additional questions for us as we've just got a few minutes left uh, before we wrap up today. I wanted to just iterate two, two final things here uh, that Paul touched on. One being make sure to visit our new website residio.com backslash residiopro.com backslash uh, webinars for additional information on our upcoming sessions, as well as you'll be able to navigate through that website and find any of the additional information that Paul or Chris have covered here today. One other thing I wanted to bring up as well is that in just a few days, you will receive a follow-up email from us that details some additional information that Paul has covered in the technical presentation on all of the non-connected thermostats that were covered today. So we'll be happy to provide that information to you as we wrap up uh, this webinar today. Yeah, and I just wanted to, um remind everybody that our website and print on demand literature uh, website is a great resource to, to uh, get digital or printed literature sent to your location. And those uh, new pieces for the new thermostats being introduced are going to be available right at launch time. So you should start to see the E1 Pro is at our forward thinking website right now. Um, I imagine the T3 will join it by the end of this week or early next week, and uh, the digital resources will be there along with print on demand uh, in the coming days. At this point, Jamie, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we've got a yeah, we've got a couple more questions coming in here. 
We've got a question uh, on what is the minimum volume purchase for the private label program uh, for our non-connected stats per PO? Um, minimum, you have to order 12 at a time. Um, and then we have a $250 uh, order min um, as well. So just a, that's the two, two different things. I don't know what question specifically they're asking for, so I'll just answer both. Yeah, that's great. Awesome. Great question. Thanks so much for that one. And then we're also getting a question on, is there uh, somewhere that, or that there is a resource of the breakdown of our thermostats to use as a cheat sheet? Um, you know, when we're, when we're in the field looking at either a non-connected or a connected thermostat? Actually, yes. Um, so we just finalized one um, that should be going up there. So if you um, like Chris said, you should be able to see on the print on demand website, it's a updated um, product selection tool for our non-connected thermostats. Um, or you can talk to your local rep um, and they should be able to give you access to a PDF version as well. Um, and then they can tell you how to get that. But there is a kind of a cut sheet that was like a, like a, a cover mat that shows you all the non-connected thermostats. Fantastic. All right. Well, it looks like we have wrapped up all of those questions that have come in. Thanks so much, Paul, for walking through the non-connected technical training for us today. And thanks so much, Chris, for helping to answer some of those questions. Please make sure to join us every week on Tuesdays at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time for our Residio customer webinar series. Next week, we are featuring a training on dehumidification. So be sure to share the details of that training with your team teammates or your coworkers, and be sure to join us next Tuesday for that session. If you'd like more information on that upcoming series of webinars, please do visit our website residio.com backslash webinars for additional information on those upcoming trainings. And you can also uh, watch recorded versions of our previous record of our previous training sessions there as well. And another final reminder to our contractors who maybe did not include your NATE identification number on your registration form and you'd like credit for today's session, please go ahead and send your first name, your last name, and your NATE identification number to homes.university at residio.com within one week of today's live webinar. And we'll make sure that you get credit for attending today's live training session. And then two more final things to note here as we wrap up our session today. You will be prompted to complete a survey regarding our webinar session today. Please take a few moments to provide us with your feedback on the technical training that you participated in today. We are looking forward to expanding our online training offering as we go forward. And like I said before, the August training schedule is now published and live on the website. And if you've got suggestions or feedback on future sessions that you'd like to see us offer, please go ahead and make sure that you provide us with that feedback on your survey. And then as we mentioned earlier, you will receive an email from us in a few days that includes some of that follow-up information that was discussed in our non-connected training, as well as the link to the website for more, addition, more information on our webinars and products in the future as well. So thank you all for joining us for today's Residio webinar session on non-connected thermostats. We hope you enjoyed seeing the preview of our E1 and T3 Pro thermostats. Please join us next Tuesday at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time for our dehumidification training. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day.